Mark Edwards is suing Natasha Glotness in the amount of $17,048. Mr. Edwards claims the defendant's son persuaded his daughter to sell knives at school and says when the knives were discovered, she was expelled. State your name? Mark Edwards, Your Honor. Ma'am? Natasha Glotness. All right. And we're here today, sir. You are suing Ms. Glotness for $17,048 because your daughter was expelled after her son gave your daughter knives in which she took to school. That's what we're here for? That's correct. All right, you give me some background on you all. I met Natasha a year ago. We uh, were at a football game at our children's school. Uh, we're both uh, widow and widower, and we hit it off, and it was going very well for quite some time. Where was the school? What city? Was it a suburb, upscale, in middle Houston, class? In Houston, Texas, sir. In Houston, All Texas. All right, see, son, I told you, y'all got stereotypes. The inner city is not the only place where these kids bring weapons. How old is the child? <laughs> 15. She 15. was 15. She's yes, 16 Yes, he bringing now. knives to school at 15 <laughs> at a suburban, upscale school. Try to put everything on the inner city kids. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, everything was going fine in the relationship. Uh, some of her parenting skills were uh, questionable and... How so? Well, she's very busy with her work, sir, and which is understandable. What type of work? Uh, she's running a multi-level marketing company. And uh, I understand she has to support her, her son and herself. Uh, however, she's not around a lot. She's very focused on the work. So I feel that her disciplinary skills have been a little bit... Um, Lacking. Were you all living together? No, sir. Okay. Well, uh, both of our children were close. They knew each other before. We met, actually, uh, my daughter's a cheerleader, and he was in the school band. Um, and then when he decided it was a good idea to ask my daughter to, or suggest to my daughter, that she bring knives to school to Were you to all sell still them. together at that time? Yes, we were, sir. Okay, and when did you learn of this? I learned of it when I received this email from the school. Okay, we'll get to that shortly. Let me allow her to give her background and her side. Ma'am? Okay, let's get back to you. <laughs> what do you have? You said you have something. So what? you see the influence she has. She don't have no influence. She <laughs> okay. won't say nothing. You saw what she did. Gave her a chance and she said... <laughs> Nobody going through all that. Oh, now, what do you mom. have? You say you wanted to bring. Uh, I do have evidence that. Uh, of what the, did happen, though? What the child? She was expelled, sir. There is a police report, but they did not press charges. What did she bring them to school for? She thought she could sell them. Hmm. It's a knife set for the kitchen. You sound like you. That's all right. So not at all. 15, not when I You found sound out. like the only difference is she brought them to school. Otherwise, you know, there wasn't nothing wrong with her going oh, door to a... door. She can go door to door with knives, knocking on the door. Hey, do you want to start selling knives for me? You get 15%. All right, you ready to speak, ma'am? No. Nope. Sure, if anyone right. will let me speak, I will speak. I keep asking I, you, is, you won't. This is a you waste keep... of my time, sir. This is a complete waste of my time, okay? I'm a single parent. I work very hard for my son. He does very well. Okay, thank you. And tell me about the claim. And in the business? Her son is actually okay, working so she for has her. her son. How old is the son? <laughs> he is now 18. He was 17 when this took place. All right, so she has a teenager selling knives. Correct. Got it. Sir, you have evidence you wanted to present? I do, sir. So we have our payment. The police report is in there as well, sir, as well as emails police. from the school. Police? How did the police get involved? Tell me what happened that. Because... Yeah. She brought knives to school, right. and it is they illegal. They called the police. Exactly. So they did a thorough investigation, but they did not press charges at that time. It is clearly written in the bylaws that if you bring any type of a weapon to the school, that you you're... You don't have to tell about no bylaws. With this environment in our country, with folks shooting up the school... Correct, sir. You bring a weapon to the school, yes, you're supposed to go to jail these days. Yeah, that's how they do in the inner city. Yes, sir. That's what they did me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Ma'am, why shouldn't you be responsible for this? Because I, I did not direct my son. I did not direct her. Did it work for you? Okay. Yes. She won't answer my questions. Judgment for the plaintiff. You work, he worked for you, so you're therefore responsible. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. All right. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $17,048. 
Justice has been done, my friend. This is a waste of my time. <sighs> a waste of your time? You don't even pay attention to your son very much. Hey, man. I pay more attention to your daughter. <laughs>